Okay, so let's get started with the channel message. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> let's get started with the channel message for today. Um, I kept getting in my head, uh, y'all know the song with me. I kept getting for the love of money, man. So some of y'all could be getting some money. Um, some of y'all could be doing something for money. Um, also got be cautious of someone using you for money or only like wanting you for money or for some sort of benefit. So let's get started. What messages? Actually, no. What channel message do we have for today? First, we got two. These two. We got meditate and contemplate and expect powerful change. I'm laughing because this is like my fourth reading. In the last reading, those two popped out. We also got surrender to the divine. Um, so there could be some powerful changes that are about to occur within your life. Some of you guys could be getting some money. You could be getting some money. You know what I'm saying? Um, amen. <laughs> amen. Some of y'all could be getting some money. Meditate and contemplate is literally about taking a time out, taking a breather, thinking things over, thinking things through before you take your next step. Some of you guys could be in that position now. Um, I got things were balanced out. We got that Pisces energy. Um, this is about your dreams, your aspiration, new moon eclipse. Something is about to be uncovered. Because the eclipse is the light being covered. With expect powerful change, there's a change to something that has been covered, something that has been hidden. It may have been kind of evident around the edges because as you, you can see that there's light behind this moon. But for a, a lot of you guys, maybe something is about to reveal. Um, and maybe it's time for you to kind of take a step back and a breather while things kind of unfold, especially with surrender to the divine. So let's see. For the love of money, man. Full a uh, new moon eclipse. This is new stuff coming in. Hey, amen, amen. Um, this is 94, so that's four. You're protected during this transition. 94, we're going to call it transition because I think things have already changed. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a part of beginnings, and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite a ride, and events now could be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any direct, any new direction you take will almost always lead to somewhere better. Will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later on. A new portal is opening up, and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You are being put back on the right track, and there is nothing to fear. The tomb in here. Never mind the past. Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. Additional meanings for this card. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You are being shunted toward your life's purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. The teachings. New moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's, it's as though you're headed in one direction, probably being guided by your ego. And then here comes the divine, the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction of to, instead to face the direction you actually need to go regardless of whether or not there is a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnaround so some of you guys are being redirected okay you're being redirected because maybe you are in your ego making decisions based off of lust based off of, of desire based off of low vibrations based off of uh, need to be or need to be included or need to be seen. I don't know. It was just all the stuff that just popped up in my head. But now you're being redirected toward your life's purpose and everything that you thought that was beyond your reach, beyond your scope will be appearing very quickly in your life. Amen. All right. So new moon in Pisces. Those are new dreams, new aspirations, um, new fluidity. I think you're about to be in a, a flowy type of energy within your life. 64. That's the 10. This is this is an end that leads to a new beginning. All right. Because so tens are endings, but they uh, simplify. They simplify to a one, which is a new beginning, your new beginning. Probably been seeing one, one, one a lot. Yeah. All right. Meditate and contemplate. This card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's where you're and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're onto a good thing, then wish card because 
the words of your soul and your heart to help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all of that sounds a little wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. I was going to say something, but it's okay. Okay. This, la this is the last sign of the Zodiac, and the new moon Pisces card can suggest a last-ditch chance to make your dreams come true. The attunement to the moon, use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Additional meanings for this card, face your fears. They may be holding you back. The situation is being healed. It is time to surrender to the divine. Chant Om Nama Narayana, Narayana, Narayani, Narayani, Narayani. N-A-R-A-Y-A-N-I, in case some of y'all wanted to know. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. The teachings here. Pisces is a sign of reveries and mysteries or depths of emotion, ideal, idealism, and hopeless romantics. It is a sign of the water and the unconscious. Its energy is deep like the watery depths. The new moon in Pisces indicates a time to listen to your feelings and to allow your emotions free reign. Whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than true, unless you've been kidding yourself somehow. And only you know if that's the case or not. Okay? Some of y'all, this has to do with romance, love. Okay? Um, so if you guys, actually, I was going to pull from the Rebel deck. If you guys would like to see the energy for today, you can hop on over to the Wise Ones. Um, other than that, after this will be done. What guidance do we have for the collection? What guidance do we have for the collection? What guidance? Okay. Ask a fucking expert. So some of you guys, it says don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So for some of you guys, you could be getting some bad advice from your friends, from someone around you. You don't need to listen to them. They're giving you bad advice, and maybe even on purpose, especially if they see your life about to change in a positive way, and they don't want that to happen. Because it means that they'll no longer have access to you as they do. Anyway, this is all I have. Until next time, y'all.